Hi guys, happy new year and welcome to this week's vlog. And this is actually gonna be my very first vlog on YouTube for 2023. I am going to show you into my very first lesson with a new instructor. As much as I would love to say I can ride and I do well, I know what I'm doing. Tallulah has proven herself to be a fairly difficult horse to be teaching and working with. I try not to complain about her too much because she is exactly what I wanted. A big, feisty, sassy mare. <laughs> I got exactly what I wanted and it's hard. I'll be honest, it's hard. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's it's been a dream to work with her, it hasn't. I've only owned her since August um, and she's given me some incredible times and incredible movements, but at the same time, giving me the complete opposite but i do believe that it is a young horse thing they are so good at making you feel like the best rider ever and then suddenly you're not and you're questioning why you're even riding horses one instructor who i had two lessons with and i went into their lesson and i said look i've only owned her since august she hasn't been ridden until about three four weeks ago this is going to be her very first time leaving the floor with a person on her since I've rebacked her. I said, look, we've got to make sure this gets off to a good step. I am such a firm believer that this mare is going to go miles. I think she's going to be incredible. She's so talented. She's so smart. She moves so well for such a weak horse at the moment. I'll be honest, it wasn't how I would have went about jumping a five-year-old for the very first time. I believe he was excited, I was excited, and he wanted to see this mare jump. Everyone sees Tallulah move, and they say how amazingly well she moves. Um, so I think he just wanted to see a jump. I would think they, he wanted to see how high she would go, how honest she was. I think our first lesson, we easily jumped like 90 centimeters and stupidly jump related distances. As you have your own opinion and your own thoughts, it at the end of the day has to be someone who you trust, who you believe has got you and your horse's best interest at heart. If you don't follow their steps, what's the point in having lessons, right? Next two lessons, very last minute got canceled and I got really frustrated. I took the time to sort of reevaluate what I'm doing, what Tallulah's doing, how we're both feeling. She decided to look for a different instructor. A few times I jumped about myself and I'm just finding that I do feel like she has been a little bit over phased. I'll put my hands up and say I do believe she may have been over phased straight away. I think I have caught in time that isn't going to affect her long term. So I went and looked for a new instructor who I was highly recommended. I had my first lesson today and I'll be honest it is not at the start, I didn't think it was going well, not because of the instructor I chose, because Tallulah decided to not cooperate. <laughs> Tallulah, lovely, lovely Tallulah. So she, um, again, being honest, very small, napping about her. She likes to just pull out every so often. So she decided today was a day to show everyone what trick she's got up her sleeve, that she can spin on the spot, she can buck on the spot. She can pull me around the school if she really wanted to and decide to not go somewhere if she really didn't want to go somewhere. So we have like a cross country um, track just outside of our big outdoor school. I have taken her there once. And I just walked her, up the, walked her through, walked her up to the top, showed her the step, which she just had a little sniff and just popped straight down. And I was like, oh, that was great. Good Tallulah. And now she believes she belongs out there. So as soon as I get on, she just pulls, toes me over there, won't come out of the cross country part that I then had to get off, I think twice. She pulled me up there and I had to get off, pull her back down to the other end of the ginormous school we have and get back on again and try again. Great, fine, we're on, she's walking around. 
and she just is bunny hopping everywhere and she is shaking her head and she's like I put my leg on just to move forward in her walk and come onto the contact what does she do she leaps she bucks she has a great time she has been in stabled for I think three weeks we're on now the weather's been wet it's been cold it's not been great so she's fresh that's fine but I'll be honest, the lady I had the lesson with was very understanding. She was very gentle in her approach, which I really like. Again, previous instructors I've had have always been like push, shove, whip, like the horse is going. Whereas this is very much her, you know, good girl to Lula and praise her when she does the job and make a big fuss of her. Which I thought I did, but I didn't probably do it as much as maybe I should be. So anyways... I'll show you guys a lesson. Even though it didn't start well, or it didn't start how I wanted, I can not mind, it didn't start well. It actually was really awful, and I was so close to being like, do you know what, she's not cooperating today, let's just call it a day. I didn't, I pursued, and we went forward, and we actually got a really nice result. This lesson is exactly what I expected my very first jumping lesson to be. Teaching her striding, teaching her landing, teaching her just to relaxingly jump now jumping is not a big explosive thing last week actually i did poles on the floor it was two poles a gap two poles we have done this exercise before and she was just like sunny became so overwhelmed she jumped the first two into the middle she then jumped out of it bolted bronked she went left i went right i was on the floor again this is where my mindset of i think we overfaced her too quickly i'm a strong believer in it now really comes into play okay, so the lesson did end on a really really good note she was soft she was relaxed she was listening you know the wanting to take me elsewhere really stopped she was focused she was what i would want from a lesson definitely going to continue i'm going to see how far we both get because obviously you can never judge of your first lesson, especially if the horse is not cooperating. And at the end of the day, we all wake up and we have good days and we have bad days. It is what it is. This is a very, very raw video of what it is like riding a young horse. You have good days, you have bad days, and that's no one's fault. That is literally no one's fault, and I have to keep telling myself it. It's not my fault. It's Tallulah's, no I'm joking. We really started YouTube to document my progress with my riding and Tallulah. So anyways, there you go. That is this week's vlog. If you guys have any suggestions or what you might want to see me do with Tallulah, I'm more than open to them. Um, just hit the comments below. See you guys next time. Adios.